My name is Caitlin Cowan. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the laboratory of Professor John Cryan and Professor Ted Dynam at the APC Microbiome Institute, part of the University College Cork. Together with some of our colleagues, we have a new review paper out in bioassays on the interactions between the microbiota and the amygdala. The amygdala is one of the best known and most well-studied regions of the brain. It's a small region located centrally in the brain, deep in the subcortex. It was named the amygdala after the arm and shape of its first described subregions, but it's actually a larger, complex structure made up of many subregions that have distinct properties and connections to other brain regions. These connections are part of what makes the amygdala so important to our behaviour and psychological function. For a long time, the amygdala has been synonymous with fear, and it does play an extremely important role in regulating fear responses in most species, ranging from rats and mice right up to humans. However, the amygdala is much more than just a fear centre. It also makes functional contributions to the regulation of stress, social behaviours, and the affective dimensions of pain perception. When the amygdala is not functioning well, it can contribute to a range of problems, including many psychological disorders related to these behaviours. In our recent article, we propose that one factor that may influence the function of the amygdala is the microbiota. That's the collection of microorganisms that reside in our gastrointestinal tracts. We already know that the gut microbiota can modulate each of the behaviours I just described as being amygdala dependent. More than just influencing amygdala-dependent behaviour, we are now starting to learn that the microbiota can influence the function and even the structure of the amygdala itself. But how does the microbiota drive these changes in the amygdala and amygdala-dependent behaviours? We hypothesise that the microbiota communicates with the amygdala through the gut-brain axis. This provides a number of different pathways for the gut microbiota to influence the amygdala these pathways include the circulation via microbial metabolites and immune cells, the vagus nerve via the immune and enteric nervous systems, and the spinal cord, all of which are discussed in more detail in our review.